problem solving and problem making are just arch enemies. So I want to talk about this shit because this is a time right now. Shit's going on. Shit's going sideways in the world and people are freaking the fuck out. And instead of people solving problems and coming with solutions, all you see is bitching and moaning and complaining and blaming and making excuses and all this other bullshit. And it's going to get you nowhere. It's going to just keep you digging you deeper and deeper and deeper in the fucking hole if you're one of those problem makers. And and when it comes to being a problem solver, a time like this, a time like this is the time to step the fuck up and show what you're capable of. Show what you're made of. This is the time for problem solvers to stand the hell up and be the fucking leader that you are and that you're meant to be and that you're capable of. Not to crumble under the pressure of the situation in the world. You can't control the shit that's going on around you, but you can control how you react to it. You can control your thoughts about it. You can control your character and how you react to all the crazy shit going on around you. Now, problem solvers should not have to solve the problems of problem makers. It's a waste of fucking time. It's a waste of energy. It's a waste of emotions. It's a waste of mental power. It's a waste of anxiety. It's just a waste of fucking time is what it is. It's a waste of everyone's time. Problem solvers, the way you solve problems, problem solvers should solve the problems that are the problem makers. That's what should be solved. Because if the solvers can solve those problems that are the problem makers, there's going to be less problems to solve. There are going to be less problems to solve if you can eliminate the problem makers and make more time for creating. Because what problem solvers are, are fucking leaders. Problem solvers, even just as much or more than that, are creators. So problem solvers, if you can get... If you can eliminate the problem makers, which are usually the major portion of your problems, if you could eliminate that, the problem solver is going to have more time to spend, more more creative currency to spend on growth and evolution and getting out of a hard time, overcoming obstacles, making shit better. That's what you need to think about because those problem solvers are great creators, but they're not able to use their creative currency on growth and evolution and digging out of a hole. They have to use their creative currency to solve the problems of the problem makers, which is a waste of fucking energy. It's a waste of currency. It's a waste of creative waste of creative currency. They need to spend that energy somewhere else in solving those problems. And once those problems are solved, other problems are going to pop up. That's fine. But it's less energy that has to go towards those problem makers and more that can go to creativity that can help step up and go to the next level. Help create freaking success rather than wasting time on problems that wouldn't even exist without the makers, without the problem makers. Those problems wouldn't exist. There's enough shit going on in the fucking world that every, people out there, and you see the craziness on social media and all this other stuff, there's enough shit going on out there in the world. You don't need to have all that negativity and all those people just complaining and making excuses and talking about how everything is just so fucked up and it's it's not their problem. It's not their fault. And blaming other people, blaming the situation, blaming the world, blaming the fucking universe. It's the universe you're in. It's the only fucking universe you have. It's You are part of the making this big rock that we, we live on. Every one of you is a big fucking part of making that thing continue to spin. And to sit and bitch and moan all day and complain about what's going on and all these problems and problems and negativity and bullshit is just sucking the creative juices and the creative currency out of the problem solvers who are the creators, who can help create things, who can help create fucking solutions rather than just creating more problems that the problem makers are making. Because the solvers are always the creators. That's just the way it is. That's how they solve problems. They get creative. They think outside the box. They think of alternate things that other people aren't thinking of. They don't think about complaining about the problem. They think about solving the problem. They think about solutions. They don't just think about the checklist of what's fucked up in their life. Checklist of what's fucked up in this situation. Everyone's going through it. So no shit. Shit is fucked up. You don't need to be reminded about it and complained about it. Because guess what? Those people, when when the hard times pass, those are the ones that are going to be left behind because of that bitching and moaning and complaining. When it comes down to it, a time like this, there's no time for that stuff. That stuff is done. It's dead. There is no time for that shit to be complaining and whining and fucking bitching about shit like that shit gets deleted and that shit needs to get overcome and overpowered by the problem solvers by the problem creators by eliminating those problem makers 
And then you have more time. Again, the, the, the term, just think of it. Your, your creative currency, you can spend on useful shit that's going to make things better. Use this time. Like, if you're not using this time to create shit, if you're not using this time right now to, th- to solve the future problems you're going to have six months from now, a year from now, because this shit ain't getting any better anytime soon. So sitting around bitching the morning, that's going to do absolutely fucking nothing for you. It's going to do nothing for you. So if you're not spending this time right now to be creating shit, to be, to be operating at a high level, thinking, uh, operate a high level in your mind about what's going to be next, how to deal with what's going on now, how to make the most of it, how to overcome the shit that's going on right now, how to use it as a step to the next step to get su- to, to success during and after this current situation re- that we're in. That's the way problem solvers think. That's the way they get creative. That's the way they use, that's the way they use their, their skills and their abilities to take things to the next level. That's just how it gets done. And they can't do it with the problem makers just whining and just like energy vampires just sicking their fangs of negativity into you, sucking the blood of creative juices out of you so you can't even create things. So if you're not using this time to create, to go write a book, to go read a book, to start meditating, to pick up, to do even more exercise and training that you've been doing, to learn a new freaking language, to spend, how about this, spend some time with your kids. Be a good role model to your kids because they see all that bitching and whining and complaining. Guess what? They're going to grow up to be bitchers and whiners and complainers the same way. So this is the time. This is the time to step the fuck up right now. This moment, the time is now. Because it's the only time you freaking got. And, and things aren't changing, man. This is the reality that we all live in. You're not a unique snowflake. This isn't just happening to you. This is freaking worldwide, whatever, whatever's going on out there. And it's up to you how you react to this. It's up to you how you respond rather than react to this shit. It is completely up to you. And if you are one of those problem solvers, I will tell you this. Problem solvers will always have work. They'll always be getting paid. They will always get recognized. They will always be in high demand. But this is one thing about problem solvers also. They are the leaders. But they also understand that sometimes there's delayed gratification. Sometimes they're going to solve problem, solve problem, solve problem, solve problem. And maybe not get that that gratification and success right away but that shit doesn't go unnoticed that shit leads them up the ladder to the next level of level of success the next level of being a better leader the next level of being another parent a role model and just a fucking better human that's what it leads to so this is the time right now to step up you will the problem solvers will always be in demand the problem makers will always suck away from the creative juices of the problem solvers and and add to the problem they need to be Eliminated, they need to be to, to be either taught or coached or mentored, or they need to be taken out of your circle of influence. Because you're not going to get through times like this with those problem those those problem makers, those people who aren't looking for solutions, those people who aren't helping towards a solution that come that have five different things that are wrong with the situation to complain about, to drag everyone down about, to to add to negativity about, but then have zero input on. Okay, how can I make this better? How can I solve this problem? That'd be a fucking great idea, huh? Like how, if, if you're just going and complaining and all this and posting all this negative shit about viruses and all this other stuff. And really this, we're, we're talking about whatever, the current situation about a virus. But I purposely didn't even mention that until now. And I wasn't even planning on mentioning that. Because this goes on all, this goes on in all areas of life. And this isn't just now during times of stress. This goes also during peacetime. But now we're in wartime. We are in wartime. In peacetime, those problem makers could skate by. But it's fucking wartime right now, and there is no space, time, or energy, or currency for those problem makers. So step up, be the fucking leader that you are, be the leader that you're capable of, be a problem solver, you will always be in high demand, you will always have a place in this world, you will always be helping to push forward. So just keep fucking moving forward, no matter what. Drive forward. Solve the problems. Be the creators. Find the solutions. Stay freaking positive. Maintain your character. Maintain your positivity. And just keep driving fucking forward. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.